<laughs> your voice was Good a little rocky. Good afternoon. Yes, my voice cracked. I'm, I went through puberty right when right I Right now. Back. You sound like Peter Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Wednesday. You've made it to hump day. Another the, hazy, hot, and humid day with uh, a chance for storms. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that's mm, uh, not too it's, good. It's going to cool down. It's, tomorrow it'll be in the low 80s. If, I mean, it's not, not horrendous. It's not going to be 97. 90. I like 80s. Yesterday, 80s is nice. Yesterday I got to 99 at Bradley. It was so hot yesterday. So hot yesterday. You could bake an egg on your car. <laughs> yes. It was unbelievable. Well, anyway, the major question we have for you today, yes. as you ponder from your air conditioning, mm -hmm. is the hot dog a sandwich? No, it's not a sandwich. The hot dog is a hot dog, The right? hot dog is a hot dog. It's in a category of its own. Yeah. No. Oh, oh well. Per, our director Adam says it is a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. A sandwich is two pieces of bread with, with meat inside. Meat inside. But that is a hot dog. It has, you and know, a, meat and bread. But I don't think of it. I would if I was serving something, I would say, here I, I put out some sandwiches and hot dogs. Exactly. I, exactly. I, I put out a hamburger that, and a hot dog. Yeah. Is, is a hamburger a sandwich? I never put out hamburgers and hot dogs and say I put out sandwiches. No, hamburger is not a sandwich. But the sandwich was, the sandwich. It's, but technically. If a sandwich it's is a meat roll. between two pieces of bread. No, it's a regular piece of bread. Oh my God, we're gonna, it's not a sandwich. We're gonna fight about this all day. Not Karen and I, the people in our ears. Anyway, are, let us know what you think on the Better Connecticut Facebook page. Yes, is it a sandwich? Is or the is hot it, dog a sandwich? Is the hot dog a sandwich? 57% say hot dogs are a sandwich. Okay. That's well, more than half. That's more than half. I disagree. I'm sure the people at Armour would disagree as There's well. There's some other things on here, like 15% put the cheese on their cheeseburger you, under the burger. No. No, that's just sacrilegious. No, it definitely goes on top. On top of the burger, so it melts. It, well, I'm sure it would melt under the burger as well, but anyway. Uh, it just then, looks pretty with the yellow square on top of the burger. And then 18% of Americans eat their pizza with a fork, which is also sacrilegious. I, they well, eat so it with a fork and knife. If it's really, really hot and it's just out of the oven, I well, will sometimes go to the fork and knife. If it, sometimes here at work, I'll do that when they have a pizza party because I know my fingers are going to get greasy and I have to immediately go do something, dress nicely. Right, so right, you're just right, trying right. to like, I need a few bites and I can't get dirty. Well, let's look at this though graphic though, Kara. It says 52% of people put ketchup on their pizza. No, that's crazy. Okay, so 90% prefer their pizza triangle cut. 82% well, eat where, with their where hands. Where are they putting ketchup on pizza? In what part of the nation? Not here in Connecticut. A I've lot. Never, I've never even heard of it. Neither have I. But I don't put ketchup on my eggs either. 52% almost say thin crust. I do like a thin crust. I do like a thin crust. Uh, 65%. I like a thin crust, a fat crust, a medium crust, any kind of crust. Just do throw you think it my eating way. the crust is optional? Because 65% do. See, I eat my pizza with the objective of getting to the crust. I often will leave the crust on the plate. And uh, that's where I come in to scoop it up and take yeah. it away from you. Yeah, yeah. Um, Almost 40% oh, no, fold no their pizza. I feel like that's a Long Island thing. Do you fold yeah, your pizza? Yeah, we fold our pizza. Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely fold the pizza. And, okay, so 52%, we already talked about that, uses ketchup. Ugh. Crazy. And 55% think dessert pizza is real pizza. And that's not a pizza. Like uh, There's a place in New York where you go, and it's I forget what it's called, but it's chocolate. Patty, uh, Patty from Patty Cakes, she um, makes a an egg pizza. Oh, I've seen that. It's delicious. I don't think of it as pizza, though. Delicious, but it's not a pizza. It's a, it's an egg pizza, but it's not a pizza pizza. Right. But it's delicious. But it's breakfast pizza. It is breakfast pizza. And it is okay to eat pizza for breakfast. I think it's okay to eat breakfast pizza. Do you eat your pizza cold? I love cold pizza. Yeah, I don't like cold pizza. Oh. I will always microwave it. Unbelievable. But I get, I don't I understand why people do sometimes. Well, get your 16 cents out, Kara, because this year's Fourth of July is going to cost a little extra. 16 cents extra we need. It's 16 cents. That's all it says from this year to last year. <laughs> Uh, it's going to run about $59.50. That's 16 cents from last year. I, I, I think don't I can come think up. here in New England we can have a cookout for $59 for a bunch I, of people. I, where do you, for 10 people. They, they think that so you can do So that's under $6 a person. If you just buy some Bubba burgers and buns, I don't know. Is with it, no accoutrement. And you need some cheese. You need some You need a side dish. Yeah. You need some German potato salad. How can you throw a, a party for $59.50 Now, the German potato, potato salad people? would be cheap to make because potatoes are cheap. All right. But. Well, there you go. And beer. you got to have beer, right? So, yeah, that must not I don't drink beer, alcohol. but apparently that doesn't include alcohol. It doesn't okay. include anything. Fireworks are also going to be more expensive and harder to find. How come? Because everybody wants them. And, this, <laughs> and many of them are coming from China. And the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Let's blame it on the pandemic again. So the again. supply chain has yet to rebound from the pandemic. Light and the industry and is struggling with fewer shipments. But we do have on the Channel 3 app and on our website a whole bunch of places and towns that are having fireworks celebrations this year, which is nice to hear. Yeah, I just hope this weekend they're not in jeopardy because the forecast is looking a little shaky. So Bruce will have much more on that no, coming up before. No, no shaky. A little shaky Saturday is looking mostly cloudy with showers. And then it's not going to be a washout.
And then Sunday, there's partly sunny with a chance of showers. So there's also there's a chance of showers just about every well, day. Well, you know, we've got a little time. We're hardy. We're we're. But it's Fourth of July, and this is the time after the pandemic. Everyone's supposed to have a good time, so we need the sun to come out. This is the time to remember. remember. Anyway, because it will not last forever. It will not last forever. <laughs> a new study ranks the cities with the worst gridlock, and guess who takes the cake? Uh, the New York slash and guess, Newark region. Guess of who was sitting in gridlock traffic on Saturday? You. In New York City. There's, a, but I. That's why I thought you'd take a ferry sometimes. No, I was going to New. I was going from Long Island to New Jersey. Oh yeah, that's so tough. It was tough, and Waze took me right through Times Square. I was yeah. literally by the TKTS book uh, the booth, and I'm like, why did Waze take me through Manhattan on the one of the busiest days of the week? It was just crazy. So anyway, I yeah, Waze should traffic. direct you on that. But remember one time Waze <laughs> took you. <laughs> Took me to May Cape May in New Jersey. It took you to a ferry that you didn't have a ticket for. It took me to a ferry that I didn't have a ticket for. Yes, that was. You might have my... to look. If Waze wants you to get on a boat, yes. make sure you check to see if the boat has tickets. And <laughs> if you're going to Rehoboth, don't take the ferry. Drive. It's better and cheaper. There you go. Anyway, uh, average uh, people in those places like New York, they were stuck in their cars for 56 hours last week. Last Boston, year. I mean, uh, last year. I mean, but could you imagine being in a car for 56 hours through, throughout the year? Throughout the year. But that's almost, it's more than a whole other work week. Boston came in at number two. I would actually think that living in New York, it would be way more than 56 hours. I would think so, too. Maybe that, well, that's why it's an average. It probably is a little bit more than 56 hours. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I'm not kidding. This is why we need the drones. Pretty soon, Elon Musk is going to just, we're going to fly everywhere. I can't. Cannot wait. <laughs> Sign me up. Sign me up. When Uber comes with the drone and just drops you off, just that's a, perfect. Ding! Starbucks is testing out a new way to hype its off-menu drinks like the using pink drink. social media. Right, like Ariana Grande had a recipe. I don't know, my kids always know what the off-menu oh, drinks are. Oh, that's really clever. Ariana Grande has a drink at Starbucks? <laughs> Yeah. Is that on purpose? You said I want the Ariana I want Grande. the Ariana no, I don't know. Grande. It's like her thing. Or, I like that. But they're not on the menu. But if you ask them, they're supposed to know. I don't know. Oh, I have goosebumps. That was really clever. Um, Ariana Grande. So there are two custom beverages through the Facebook or Instagram pages. Yeah, one's green, mm -hmm. which I'm, I'm going to avoid. Green Unless could it's, be good. No. That's a grande matcha tea latte with yeah, chai. It doesn't, sound, it doesn't sound very good to and me. And the other one is the very pink drink remixed. Yeah, it sounds, that one sounds better than the other one. But anyway, you're going to be able to order them on Instagram and Facebook. It'll direct you to a page, and then you order them right on the app. But it's for a limited time only, so don't forget to get your pink and green drinks. It's like just Easter. wait for all your teenagers to say they saw it on TikTok and e you need to take them. Exactly. That's, what, that's what's going on. <laughs> okay. All right. This um, woman, she loves Smurfs. I mean, I so did much love the so. I love the Smurfs when I was growing up, too. Me, this too. This is on a different level. I had Smurfs. I had the ones, I think, mine, mine had parachutes. Oh, I love Smurfette. You know, she was the only girl. She had oh. blonde hair. But anyway, she has 11,000 plus smurf items and holds the guinness world book of records because i guess there is such a thing for having the most smurf things i think that's just smurfable <laughs> it's just unbelievable uh look at this 11, they ask why 000. do you do this and she said the simple answer is i have fun she really loves her smurfs it's smur as adam our director said it's smurf tastic so Fantastic. there's another video that's going viral last yeah, time we told this. you Did about you the this? picture with the um pack and play in the research lab <laughs> Now, a mom in Missouri brought her toddler to a job interview, and that's going viral, just showing how so many people want to get back to work by the issue of child care. But look, she dressed him up. He's got a little suit on. He's, that's he, look, the best. He's just so adorable. She's like, listen, I want the job, but I got to bring my kid to the interview. And he's going to look very handsome. He's all dressed up. He's good at skills. And he washed uh, his bike before he went. He washed his bike before he went. Look at that. So he's like, I'm ready for work, <laughs> mommy. That's hysterical. I absolutely love it. And the it. companies so need workers right now, I know. Too. Big Y. Did you see that big hiring event they had yesterday? And every Big Y, they had a huge hiring event. We were there live last night. Sharon Johnson was there live. And Stu Leonard had been giving $500 every, bonuses. $500 bonuses. You can get a job just about anywhere these days. It's really mm -hmm. remarkable. So good luck. So Harry Potter is also making his return to Broadway. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. <laughs> will know. premiere in November. I don't, I don't really have an interest in this, Kara. No, I know it's Broadway. I know you're and not I'm, a I'm Harry a, Potter. I'm not a really big Harry Potter fan. I mean, maybe if I had read the books and the Dumbledores and the and the Squeewalks or whatever they are, okay. um, I would I would like it more. But I, I just don't like it. But in any way, it is coming to Broadway, and and now you get to say Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. I think one of the most beautiful creatures on the planet, and she welcomed her new baby, Daniela. 
Isn't that sweet? Daniela. Oh. She said, my sweet family and I couldn't be more grateful and happy. We are also excited to welcome Daniela into our family. I'm sending all of you love and health. Oh, look at your little wood, baby. Look at the little wood, yeah. And wood James Corden's fascination, his love for Ed Sheeran continues. I yeah. think there's something. They're something, going off to learn how to be cowboys. Something going on, though. They're going to ride horses, and, uh, you know, I, they like each other. They do carpool karaoke. He's been guest hosting. Now they're going to some ranch. James Corden is straight, right? <laughs> I think he is. His love well, for Ed, Ed Sheeran. Sheeran is... got married in a beautiful castle on the hill. Remember? All right. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'll be singing the song. Anyway, the Love Fest continues with James Corden and Ed Sheeran. You can see it all this week on the Late Late Show. And they're going to learn how to be cowboys. Okay, and how about weird. this? It's like Brokeback Mountain all over again. Kim Kardashian's skims will yeah. be the official underwear of the U.S. Olympic team. Well, of course it will, because they need more money. <laughs> they need more money. The Kardashians need more money. They uh, are collaborating, and they're going to have special loungewear and th her skims. So there you go. Now, remember, Caitlyn Jenner was an Olympic gold Huge. medalist. So Absolutely. It's a limited edition collection. She was Bruce back then. And you will, yes, and you will be able to buy it yourself if you want. But you know, what an the, athlete. the Olympians really need, they need special underwear. So I'm guessing the skims are pretty good or they wouldn't be able to give them. Bring it on. I think it's great.